let's talk about root canals. I'm going to draw a tooth for you. When it comes to root canals, we've come a long way. There's a lot of reasons why I don't suggest root canals, but I understand some people do need them for certain circumstances. However, if you can avoid them, prevention is the best way, but if you want to understand why I don't prefer root canals over removing a dead tooth or removing a um, permanently um, unrestorable tooth, is because we don't have the proper instrumentation to completely 100% sterilize the inside of the tooth with the instruments that we have currently. So I'm gonna show you why. When we do the root canal, pretend this is the backside of the tooth. So they'll go in the backside, they'll make a hole here, they'll go into the nerve canal here. And then this is where the nerve is. And I just drew a few little channels here, but what you don't see, so this is the nerve and it branches off here in different areas into accessory canals. But what you don't see in the root of the teeth, there are hundreds of thousands of little microtubules that go right to the nerve. So whenever you feel sensitivity in your teeth, that's what you're feeling is these microtubules. So you feel like it's the nerve. It's not actually the nerve, but it, what it is is these microtubules that go right to the nerve from the outside of the tooth and the roots. They're hundreds of thousands of them. They're microscopic. And what happens is when you need a root canal, all of those channels that are connected, we cannot instrument. Now, with a lot of the tools we have today, some of these bigger canals we, we might be able to clean out thoroughly but some of these other canals that we cannot clean out into the dentin. Inevitably, some bacteria is gonna be left over in this tooth, and this is why the root canal can get reinfected and you can get an abscess down here in the jawbone. The reason why I'm not a big fan of root canals is because I see all the time people coming in with failed root canal treatments, and they come in with these new abscesses. And even conventional research shows that redoing a root canal for a second or even third time has a much lower success rate than doing it for the first time. I don't generally recommend root canals unless someone wants one, but I always present these different options for people because that's my job, to let you know what the options are to serve you best. But now you understand why I don't suggest or would not have a root canal myself because they are very prone to reinfection and we are not able to completely sterilize the tooth from the inside.